From the Stone Age to the Space Age, humans have prized asbestos for its incredible resistance to fire and other elements. Welcome to Asbestos Rewind. Hi everyone, I'm asbestos attorney Justinian Lane, and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Asbestos Rewind, where we take a look back in time at all of the various uses that humans have found for asbestos throughout history. Today's segment we're calling the golden age of asbestos because we're looking at some of the crazy ways that the show business industry, how they used asbestos throughout the years for special effects, for props, for all of the things that they do. Today we're going to travel back to March of 1939, we're going to read about asbestos wigs, of all things. Asbestos cloth as the base for a wig seems to be a rather unique use, as well as somewhat surprising. Of course, the motive is fire protection, and perhaps you may have guessed it. The wig is to be used in the shooting of a motion picture. A prominent movie star, Fred Astaire no less, is to use the wig in a picture now being prepared at Hollywood. It appears that a comedy sequence in the picture requires that Fred Astaire's hair catch fire as he reclines in a barber's chair. For this amusing scene, the chief coiffure, stylist for Hollywood's movie queens, had prepared a wig with a heavy asbestos cloth base and has himself tried it out with great success. The experiment demonstrated that Astaire need have no worries about burning his hair or scalp when the episode is shot. Well, I don't think that they use asbestos wigs in Hollywood anymore, but I get to go ahead and show you what this actually looks like. This whole movie is out uh, available on YouTube, and this is a screen capture. The guy's got a match there, and he's about to light Fred Astaire's hair on fire. That is a wig with an asbestos base. I guess they put the regular hair into it. And I know you all want to see this, so let's go ahead and pull this up and watch Fred Astaire's hair get set on fire. Now, as humorous as that might have been, what they did is some of the most dangerous things you can possibly do with asbestos. They used compressed air hose and that little fire extinguisher to blow asbestos dust around. I can only assume that some of what you were seeing in that dust cloud wasn't just the fire extinguisher, whatever chemical propellant was in it, but was probably some asbestos coming off of the wig, which means that everybody that was in that set breathed in asbestos. Now, if you've watched any of our other videos that we've made about Hollywood, you'll find out that asbestos had a lot of use in the movie industry in the 30s and 40s. They used it for many things, and this was just one use, where they took a very leading star of his day, put an asbestos wig on him, and set his hair on fire for gags, not knowing, of course, the carcinogenic nature, the cancer-causing nature of asbestos. Thanks for tuning in for this segment of the Golden Age of Asbestos here on Asbestos Rewind. We'll see you next time. 